Hi everyone, it's Jill from Jelly Bean Studio. I hope you are doing well and have some creative journaling time today. I am making the cover for my September journal with plan A and then plan B. <laughs> so I'll explain that in this video. So hi everyone, I hope that your September is starting off well and I decided to go back to a favorite, a composition notebook. And what I usually do is I take the lined paper out. They're sewn together and you can snip them out or use an X-Acto knife. And then you have the, the paper pad that you can use for other things. And so I, I always repurpose that. And sometimes I use them for pages mm -hmm. back in the journal too. And this time around, I decided to use some fun fabric and really pretty handmade paper, but I wanted to cut down the size of the journal. So plan A was to make a nine by six using this cotton fabric that I got from Joanne Craft Store in our area. And then that pretty handmade paper I got from a local art store. And then, uh, the brocade table runner has just been in my house for a long time and that's part of the second plan, um, which I'll talk more about in a second. So originally I cut down the composition book and I simply made it a composition book with fabric on the front and pretty paper on the inside and a regular composition book spine, which would be a half inch. And then I decided no, <laughs> I really want to play more with things, so I cut it. <laughs> I cut it right in half, and I want to add more ephemera, more signatures. So now I'm going from perhaps a very small spine, like a half an inch in the composition notebook, I, I'm estimating there, to a really large spine. I would say three inches. Um, most of the junk journals I do under... I think under two inches, like an inch and a half or something like that. So now I have the cut off side. I used, again, just like a, a white glue to, to glue on the fabric uh, the first time in plan A when I kept it at the composition notebook size. And uh, now that I'm fully in plan B, <laughs> extending the spine here, I, uh, I'm gonna go for a large spine because I'm just thinking about more signatures. This is definitely a September journal. I don't know, it might roll me into October as well. So I'm just feeling a larger journal for the fall. So I'm really being careful about measuring. I did cut the brocade table runner that was sitting around in my house in a closet for a long time. It does have a rough edge. I'm not really sewing uh, in this journal other than hand sewing the signatures in as far as my, my plan is. So here we go with adding a generous amount of that Fabri-Tac glue so that I can secure the spine to the, this is the back cover. And I've actually already secured the, uh, brocade spine to the front cover and it's a probably about a, a two inch ish overlap you can tell my measuring is very ish <laughs> and uh yeah i think that part is is gonna work so there's a little bit of the overlap and i again i don't mind the rough edge there's going to be more to come i think on the cover and then i'm thinking next about how i'll secure the actual uh, signatures in and so there we go that's like a soft soft spine for the moment and making sure everything is tacked in place so yeah three inches looks like a large spine now so my plan is to actually sew the papers into uh, another paper so I have the staples manila folder and then I'm gonna do a hidden spine by gluing the um, that whole insert into the back of the brocade fabric. So that is the current plan, <laughs> plan B as they say. 
So I'm excited. I hope that you are excited about your September journaling. I would love to hear what you are doing and I really appreciate you stopping by my channel and I'm looking forward to sharing more in September journaling. So if you are journaling, I'd love to hear your favorite things in the comments and please join me. Subscribe to my channel. Thank you for those who already do and uh, I would love new subbies as well. So I appreciate you stopping by and thank you so much for watching.